Hello my lovelies. I have a teeny tiny little video for you today, but before I really get into it, if you have particularly sensitive trypophobia or like clusters of circles with centers make you upset, um, those flowers, like those circles that you see me sketching, are supposed to be my dogwood flowers and I do put dots in the center of them to reflect like where the pistol goes. So if that makes you uncomfortable, I will put in the description down below where you can skip to, to avoid the circles when they have dots in the middle. Okay? Um, <laughs> that said, hello! I, uh, <laughs> Corgi called me out really, 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 really badly a little while ago. Um, they, they, they sent me a message and were like, hey, is this you on this website? Because this person has your name and they don't have an avatar, a profile, or any posts, and I was a little bit like, wow, help, police, there's been a murder, I'm dead. <laughs> because I'm a little bit notorious for signing up for sites and not filling out any information about me or putting an avatar or doing anything to really represent like the quote unquote brand of me, I guess. I don't know, I figure if you look at my stuff, you figure out who I am, and you like it or you don't. <laughs> Just figure you'll figure it out on your own, right? Nobody needs links to my other stuff or to know who I am or anything even remotely resembling a personality <laughs> on my profiles. Um, so I'm a little bit notorious for leaving myself with default avatars and no filling, not filling out my name or anything. So after Corgi murdered me, thanks Corgi, love you, I was like, fine, I am going to go onto every single social media site that I use and I'm going to put in a description and I'm going to make sure I have an avatar and I'm going to, you know, put links to my other sites or whatever. And I made it through about two of them. I put um, an about me on Twitter. And then I tried to do it on Instagram, but Instagram was having a server kerfuffle, and I was like, okay, well that's all the energy I have to devote to this thing that I just could not care less about. And uh, I stopped. Two sites. K kind of two. One and an attempt. So, <laughs> fair play, Corgi, fair play. But this is meant to be an avatar replacement. I intended for it to be on Discord because I've had the Discord game controller for years now. Uh, I had edited, edited it, edited it to have a little horn, so it was like a game controller unicorn. But uh, well, you know, now I can have something that's more accurate to my interests. So the first thing I thought of when I was like, okay, well, what do I want to like represent me visually? The wreath of dogwood flowers was the first thing I thought of. I really love dogwood trees; they're very special to me. Uh, they're very precious to me. I, I just, I really like trees and their flowers and at first I thought of having like a paw print in the center but I decided that would go would take too much explaining like people who didn't not too much explaining like people who didn't know me weren't gonna get it and I didn't want to talk about it in like anyone making assumptions or whatever um, it, it would be to represent seven of course but I was like you know what no I'll just have like a dreamy unicorn and that's it. So I've got like a, a, in of course, soft greens, because I can't live my life if I'm not drawing in soft greens. Uh, I got called out recently in, in a good way. I asked for critique and somebody gave me valid critique and they were like, you should use more color contrast. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> At least not on this picture. Um, but that's it. It's just a teeny tiny little video about a teeny tiny avatar for me to use on websites, maybe if I don't feel lazy. Um, I hope you enjoy watching me draw it, I guess. Mwah. I give you kisses. Bye.